While it's not always possible to tell what caused the blood clot for every person, there are a variety of factors that can increase the risk of someone having a DVT or PE. So let's take a few moments to review them now. A family history of DVT or PE. If you or someone in your family has had DVT or PE, your risk for developing a clot is greater than having a recent injury or surgery. We know that circulation of your blood is slowed when you are inactive, which increases the risk of a blood clot forming. Doctors who treat you when you have an extended period of bed rest following an injury, recent surgery, or a serious illness will often be concerned that a clot could form. Undergoing treatment for cancer. Certain cancers raise the levels of substances in your blood that contribute to blood clots. Even some cancer treatments can increase your risk. If you have cancer, your doctor is aware of this and is probably monitoring you closely. Sitting in a car or on a plane for a long period of time. This one you may have already heard about in the news. Sitting for too long a period on long flights, especially in those cramped seats, can lead to blood clots in your leg. That's because being immobile during a lengthy plane or car ride can slow blood flow. Please pardon the pun here. But don't take it sitting down. Learn some simple exercise to reduce your risks. Being over 60 years of age, overweight, or smoking. Although DVT can occur at any age, the risk of developing a blood clot increases over the age of 60. Excess body weight increases the pressure in your veins, raising the risk of a blood clot. And smoking is known to affect the circulation and clotting, which also increases the risk of developing a DVT or PE. Taking birth control pills or hormone therapy. The estrogen in birth control pills and in hormone replacement therapy can increase your blood's tendency to clot. Now that you know more about what can cause a DVT or PE, Let's focus on the risk of a DVT or PE occurring again. In some people, we know what caused the clot. We call these known risk factors. This can be a recent surgery, such as to your hip or knee. If that was the cause of your blood clot, your risk of the clot occurring again at one year is 1% if you're not taking medications such as Xarelto to reduce this risk. But by five years, the risk is 3%. If the cause of your blood clot was a recent pregnancy or a leg injury or a long airplane flight, then your risk of the clot occurring again at one year is 5%. But at five years, it increases to 15% if you're not taking medication such as Xarelto to reduce the risk. For some people, the cause is completely unknown. If you and your doctor don't know what caused your blood clot, after one year, you have a 10% chance of developing another clot. And by five years, you have a 30% chance of developing another clot. What is Xarelto, Rivaroxaban? Xarelto is a prescription medicine used to reduce the risk of stroke and blood clots in people who have a medical condition called atrial fibrillation that is not caused by a heart valve problem. With atrial fibrillation, part of the heart does not beat the way it should. This can lead to the formation of blood clots, which can travel to the brain, causing a stroke, or to other parts of the body. Treat blood clots in the veins of your legs, deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, or lungs, pulmonary embolism, or PE. Reduce the risk of blood clots happening again in people who continue to be at risk for DVT or PE after receiving treatment for blood clots for at least six months. Help prevent a blood clot in the legs and lungs of people who have just had hip or knee replacement surgery. Xarelto is also used with low-dose aspirin to reduce the risk of serious heart problems, heart attack, and stroke in patients with coronary artery disease, a condition where the blood supply to the heart is reduced or blocked, or peripheral arterial disease, a condition where the blood flow to the legs is reduced. It is not known if Xarelto is safe and effective in children. 
Important safety information. What is the most important information I should know about Xarelto? Xarelto may cause serious side effects, including increased risk of blood clots if you stop taking Xarelto, people with atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat that is not caused by a heart valve problem, non-valvular, are at an increased risk of forming a blood clot in the heart, which can travel to the brain, causing a stroke, or to other parts of the body. Xarelto lowers your chance of having a stroke by helping to prevent clots from forming. If you stop taking Xarelto, you may have increased risk of forming a clot in your blood. Do not stop taking Xarelto without talking to the doctor who prescribes it for you. Stopping Xarelto increases your risk of having a stroke. If you have to stop taking Xarelto, your doctor may prescribe another blood thinner medicine to prevent a blood clot from forming. Increased risk of bleeding. Xarelto can cause bleeding, which can be serious, and may lead to death. This is because Xarelto is a blood thinner medicine, anticoagulant, that lowers blood clotting. During treatment with Xarelto, you are likely to bruise more easily, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. You may have a higher risk of bleeding if you take Xarelto and take other medicines that increase your risk of bleeding, including aspirin or aspirin-containing products, long-term chronic use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, warfarin sodium, coumadin, jantavin, any medicine that contains heparin, clopidogrel, Plavix, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, or serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, other medicines to prevent or treat blood clots. Tell your doctor if you take any of these medicines. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if you are not sure if your medicine is one listed above. Call your doctor or get medical help right away if you develop any of these signs or symptoms of bleeding. Unexpected bleeding or bleeding that lasts a long time, such as nosebleeds that happen often, unusual bleeding from gums, menstrual bleeding that is heavier than normal, or vaginal bleeding, bleeding that is severe or you cannot control, red, pink, or brown urine, Bright red or black stools, looks like tar. Cough up blood or blood clots. Vomit blood, or your vomit looks like coffee grounds. Headaches, feeling dizzy or weak. Pain, swelling, or new drainage at wound sites. Spinal or epidural blood clots, hematoma. People who take a blood thinner medicine, anticoagulant, like Xarelto, and have medicine injected into their spinal and epidural area, or have a spinal puncture, have a risk of forming a blood clot that can cause long-term or permanent loss of the ability to move, paralysis. Your risk of developing a spinal or epidural blood clot is higher if a thin tube called an epidural catheter is placed in your back to give you certain medicine. You take NSAIDs or a medicine to prevent blood from clotting. You have a history of difficult or repeated epidural or spinal punctures. You have a history of problems with your spine or have had surgery on your spine. If you take Xarelto and receive spinal anesthesia or have a spinal puncture, your doctor should watch you closely for symptoms of spinal or epidural blood clots. Tell your doctor right away if you have back pain, tingling, numbness, muscle weakness, especially in your legs and feet, or loss of control of the bowels or bladder, incontinence. Xarelto is not for people with artificial heart valves. Do not take Xarelto if you currently have certain types of abnormal bleeding. Talk to your doctor before taking Xarelto if you currently have unusual bleeding. Are allergic to rivaroxaban or any of the ingredients of Xarelto. Before taking Xarelto, tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including if you have ever had bleeding problems, have liver or kidney problems, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Xarelto will harm your unborn baby. Tell your doctor right away if you become pregnant during treatment with Xarelto. Taking Xarelto while you are pregnant may increase the risk of bleeding in you or in your unborn baby. If you take Xarelto during pregnancy, tell your doctor right away if you have any signs or symptoms of bleeding or blood loss. See what is the most important information I should know about Xarelto for signs and symptoms of bleeding. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? Xarelto may pass into your breast milk. You and your doctor should decide if you will take Xarelto or breastfeed. Tell all of your doctors and dentists that you are taking Xarelto. 
you should talk to your doctor who prescribed Xarelto for you before you have any surgery, medical, or dental procedure. Tell all of your doctors and dentists that you are taking Xarelto. They should talk to the doctor who prescribed Xarelto for you before you have any surgery, medical, or dental procedure. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Some of your other medicines may affect the way Xarelto works, causing side effects. Certain medicines may increase your risk of bleeding. See, what is the most important information I should know about Xarelto? How should I take Xarelto? Take Xarelto exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Do not change your dose or stop taking Xarelto unless your doctor tells you to. Your doctor may change your dose if needed. If you take Xarelto for atrial fibrillation that is not caused by a heart valve problem, take Xarelto one time a day with your evening meal. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Blood clots in the veins of your legs or lungs. Take Xarelto one or two times a day as prescribed by your doctor. For the 15 mg and 20 mg doses, Xarelto should be taken with food. For the 10 mg dose, Xarelto may be taken with or without food. Take your Xarelto doses at the same time each day. If you miss a dose, if you take the 15 mg dose of Xarelto two times a day, a total of 30 mg of Xarelto in one day, Take Xarelto as soon as you remember on the same day. You may take two doses at the same time to make up for the missed dose. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. If you take Xarelto one time a day, take Xarelto as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Hip or knee replacement surgery. Take Xarelto one time a day with or without food. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Reducing the risk of serious heart problems, heart attack, and stroke in coronary artery disease or peripheral arterial disease. Take Xarelto two times a day with or without food. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. If you have difficulty swallowing the Xarelto tablet whole, Talk to your doctor about other ways to take Xarelto. Your doctor will decide how long you should take Xarelto. Xarelto may need to be stopped, if possible, for one or more days before any surgery or medical or dental procedure. If you need to stop taking Xarelto for any reason, talk to your doctor to find out when you should stop taking it. Do not stop taking Xarelto without first talking to the doctor who prescribed it to you. Your doctor will tell you when to start taking Xarelto again after your surgery or procedure. Do not run out of Xarelto. Refill your prescription for Xarelto before you run out. When leaving the hospital following a hip or knee replacement, be sure that you have Xarelto available to avoid missing any doses. If you take too much Xarelto, go to the nearest hospital emergency room or call your doctor right away. What are the possible side effects of Xarelto? The most common side effect of Xarelto was bleeding. See what is the most important information I should know about Xarelto. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. You may also report side effects to Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Inc. at 1-800-Janssen, 1-800-526-7736. Please see full prescribing information, including boxed warnings and medication guide, at www.zarelto-us.com. Trademarks are those of their respective owners.